Hello, my name is John, and in this Far From Standard video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about formal charge. So formal charge is something that you probably learned in general chemistry. It's a very important foundation to organic chemistry because it allows you to quickly see if um, atoms have positive or negative charges and when they have them. Okay? So what I have here is a formal charge equation. That's what it is. Formal charge is basically just an equation. And the most technical equation, or the most technical lingo here is formal charge equals valence electrons minus number of non-bonding electrons, NBE, minus one-half number of electrons shared in covalent bonds with other atoms. We think that's kind of wordy, and so simpler way to think about it is this equation here. Formal charge equals valence electrons minus number of sticks minus number of dots. So let me explain. When we draw structures in Lewis structures, we draw bonds as sticks and non-binding electrons as dots. So if we have an example like ozone here, which I'm sure most of you have heard of, with the debate of global warming. Um, interesting side note is that ozone is harmful in the lower atmosphere. It acts as a pollutant that can irritate the respiratory tracts and uh, animals and plants that can harm them. But it's actually beneficial to us in the upper atmosphere. It protects us from ultraviolet radiation. So that's just something interesting about ozone. But back to actually drawing ozone, um, there's a couple ways to draw it, but one of them is by connecting like this, O3. We see that the bonds are drawn as sticks, and the non-bonding will be drawn as um, dots. So one of the ways is to draw it like this. And so, first thing you'll notice is that all the oxygens are not bonded the same. This should trigger um, something in your head, you know, some alarm that all these are not the same, and should catch your attention, okay? So, let's go through and find the formal charges based off this equation. We know that oxygen is in um, the column 6, so it has 6 famous electrons. And so total, we know that for ozone, it's going to have 3 times 6 equals 18 valence electrons, so 9, so 9 pairs of electrons. And we see that here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we know they're all accounted for. But let's apply this rule to each atom here and see what the formal charge is. So for the first one, we have 6 minus 1, that's the number of 6 minus 6, the number of dots. So 6 minus 6 minus 1 equals negative 1. That's the formal charge for this oxygen. If we apply the same thing here, we get 6 minus 3 sticks minus 2 equals plus 1. And then the one on the right here, oxygen, this is its normal bonding state, 6 minus 2 minus 4 equals 0, so the formal charge here is 0. So it's not very effective to go through each molecule, especially the very long you know, branch molecules, and find the formal charge for each atom. It's going to waste time. All you want to do is just notice trends. Notice trends by what uh, atoms are normally bonded to and see deviations in those trends. So, like I said, oxygen is normally bonded to two things in this kind of state. Uh, if you see anything different than that, it should trigger an alarm in you and you should say, okay, well, it's bonded differently, there must be a charge somewhere. Same thing with nitrogen or anything else in that count. It's normally bonded to three things, same with carbon. So if you see things, oxygen's bonded to only one atom, or bonded to three, or have three bonds, then this should catch your attention, and you should say, okay, there's a formal charge here. Same with nitrogen. If nitrogen is bonded to four things, um, or maybe it's only bonded to two things, it's different than what it normally is, and so there's going to be a charge. Same with carbon. If carbon is only bonded to three things, you will notice that there will be a charge there as well. So the hint here is just look for trends, periodic trends, um, by what's different bonding, and then you can calculate the formal charge, and you have the formula to do so.